Today we're talking about management mastery for the busy mom. And as you all know, I believe that you are the CEO of your home and your business. There's just a ton to balance. The first thing I do is I look through all of the tasks that I have for the day and I prioritize those tasks based on whether they are important, urgent, or urgent and important. Anything that's urgent and important together is stuff that has to be taken care of early in the day, otherwise it's just not gonna happen. So I get that stuff done right away. And then the other stuff, I basically have to prioritize whether it's worth working on right now or if I can wait and I can calendar it in for later today or tomorrow. I know so many of you are like, are you kidding me? How could I possibly put everything I'm doing into my calendar? I like to have white space. I have all this other stuff going on. I'm juggling so many things. I don't know what you're talking about. The best way to force yourself to be more efficient is to give yourself a specific amount of time to complete certain tasks. If you're going to be talking to a client about their contract negotiations, maybe that client needs you to give them a buffer of an entire hour because if you have to jump away before that conversation's over, you're gonna be in big trouble. So give yourself the set amount of time to get those tasks completed, put them in your calendar and hold yourself to that calendar. Trust me, you will find that you will do everything so much faster and you'll get so much more done each day. And then there's just the simple act of saying no, one of the best things I've ever heard is the phrase, if it's not a hell yeah, it's a hell no. And for you busy working moms out there, you need to really be serious about your time. If it sucks your time and your energy and you come out of the experience being a worse person than when you started, it's not a good use of your time because your time is all that you have and it's so, so valuable. And then there's getting some help. There are so many creative ways to enlist your community and the people around you to get some help. For example, even with my kids, I found that when I asked them to help me, they love lending a hand. My daughter the other day, I was getting a bunch of outfits together because I wanted to understand what I had in my wardrobe. And she was so excited to take pictures of me as I put together each one of my outfits. And this is something where a lot of people spend money on a stylist to get that done, but she was able to help me. And then there's obviously the workplace. I spent the first 10 years in the business thinking that the only way I was ever gonna be able to get an assistant is if I had done a million dollars in gross commission income. Well, what I realized after finally getting an assistant after 10 years in the business was that the only way I was ever gonna get to a million dollars in GCI was if I actually got some real help. And as soon as I got some help, my business grew threefold in just one year. Now that's an investment that had a real return. And then there's my daily digital detox. Every day for at least one to two hours a day, I put my phone upside down on do not disturb and I spend time with my family. And I can tell you that stepping away from that screen for a couple of hours and coming back to things can really make a huge difference in how you're able to be present with your family, but also how you're able to process what's going on in your work life. Sometimes you need to take a step back, even if it's just for 45 minutes, to get a little bit of perspective on what's really going on so you can make the right decisions and contribute as best you can to your clients' outcomes. And then I'll tell you, this girl, prioritizes self-care. I care about how I look, I care about how I feel, and because of the fact that I care about those things and I take care of myself, I am a better person to the humans around me. In general, I'm just a happier person and a more present mom because I say, you know what? It's really important for me to feel good about me. Otherwise, I can't be nice to anybody. It's just how it is. Another piece of self-care for me is living in an orderly, organized, clean space. It is time to dedicate some real, physical, organized space to working. Because if you are serious about having a career, you need to be able to get in the zone. You can't feel like your life and your belongings are like falling all over you and that everywhere you turn, there's a mess that you should be cleaning up, but you're neglecting it because you're working. That's just not productive or effective. I personally used to live in a much messier space before I met my husband. He always just seemed so calm because he knew how to find everything because it wasn't everywhere. Having a dedicated space for yourself that's clean and organized is the key to getting things done. And anybody who says that they love working in mess, I don't believe it. Because as soon as I stopped having so much more mess around and I was so much more organized and had fewer things crowding my desk, 
I became a much more productive and much more sane person. My next point sounds really cliche, but it is so important to getting yourself through this particular business, and that is celebrating your small wins. There are so many situations where I've had an incredibly anticlimactic kind of delusion feeling when I finally reached a milestone that was so larger than life, I never thought I'd get there. So if you can just take a little bit of time and say, oh my God, I did an amazing job today. I got one more step ahead and uh, it's gonna happen for me, then trust me, those bigger milestones are gonna feel even better because you primed yourself, you were excited, you gave yourself a little bit of credit so that you can say, yes, I've made it and this is an awesome moment in my career instead of being like, I was expecting this to be better. I'm throwing so many different ideas at you and I don't want you to feel like you have to accomplish every single one of these. These are just little tidbits towards becoming a better mom and manager of your home and your business. Making progress over perfection is basically what it takes to continue to get there and feel more fulfilled, organize your business better, have more time for yourself. And when I think about the progress that I've made instead of being so focused on being perfect and doing everything perfectly, I've really been able to enjoy my business that much more. Take some of these tidbits and just focus on improvement instead of being perfect it's gonna really, really make this journey that much more fun for you. But why are we really doing all of this? Why are we focusing on progress over perfection? Why are we trying to make an organized workspace so that we can get in the zone? Why are we cherishing our every little win before we get to the big wins? It's really because we wanna spend more quality time with the people that we love, and we wanna really be able to enjoy the time that we're on this earth while we're crushing it, making tons of money, making amazing connections, ruling the world of real estate or whatever business you're in, I'd love for you to just take away from this video a couple nuggets of advice. You just need some balance, you need to keep it all in perspective, and I know that you are working your ass off and I admire you. Please comment below, tell me what you think of this video, and I'd love to hear about what topics you wanna hear about, because I've got so many ideas about so many things, and I love sharing them with you. Please comment below, subscribe, send it to a friend that you think needs to hear this, and I'll see you next time.